What's up, guys? <sighs> Lucas here with another Farming Simulator 17 video. And today, uh, you guys might be able to tell that we're on a different map. And that is because this is County Line. Now, why are we on County Line? Well, because I have something to show you. Let their truck warm up here. It'll start. There we are. So anyways, we're in Kyle Line, uh, also known as, in my opinion, Sturgeon County. And Sturgeon County is getting bigger. So, with that with county getting bigger, or more places to go in the county, you're going to need uh, more emergency services. So, let's head down to Redwater. Yes, Redwater. Because I have some cool trucks to show you. Now, two out of five trucks will not, and repeat, will not be linked down in the description, nor will my other trucks, because I recently found out last week from my buddy Caleb, who I record with, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, he found some pictures on Facebook <clears throat> on a page well, I'm not, which I'm not going to state to keep their uh, uh, privacy stated, to keep their privacy. But I recently found out that that this page has somehow downloaded my trucks and claimed them as their own. Now, that's the problem there, because it's fine for them to, for you guys to download my trucks, but it's not fine for you to download them and claim them as your own, as your own, you know? And so, when I say my trucks, I'm talking Edmonton Ent Fire Rescue, St. Albert Fire Rescue Services, my two old uh, Alberta Health Services ambulances. What the hell is that over there? Is that a fire hall? Oh, no, it's just a house. And my Edmonton police car. And I think that was pretty much it. But I went and comment. I went and confronted the guy, asking where did you where did you get them? They're, those are my trucks. So I leg what what doesn't matter? I I legally downloaded it. Like, and my of course, I started I stated it does matter because a you don't have permission to have them. And B you're claiming them as your own. And just make sure we're going the correct way here. Okay, we're in Redwater. Couldn't remember if we're in Redwater yet, but we are. But anyways, we got in, we got into a whole uh, arg kind of argument. So, long story short is he did put links in the comments for me to look at, and after two links that were incorrect, he finally gave me a link to YouTube, which is of course where my trucks are. So, that's uh, so why I stated, well, look at that, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard, kind of thing, you know, jokingly, but kind of pissed. But anyways, long story short, if you want my trucks, you're going to have to come to me directly via Discord and or Facebook. And you have, I have to get to know you as a person before I make my decision on releasing the trucks to you. But anyways, let's not talk about that. Uh, problem. Got so many questions about that problem or want more details? Feel free to d message me on Discord or yeah, on, on Discord because eh, I don't really like people. Having, don't really like having strangers on my Facebook. But other than that, yeah, let's get into the trucks. So as you can see, we have three new trucks up front and two trucks in the back, which are new. So we'll start from the old, the old trucks, to the new trucks. So. The first truck we're going to look at is a 1991 Ford F700 Tottenham Enclosed Pumper. Now, as you can see, there is some stuff missing. And yesterday when I was customizing the skin on the truck, Caleb, the one who makes, who made the truck, I noticed, I noticed that problem. 
And so he's like, where did my chrome go? It's like, uh, I don't know, man. I didn't do anything to do it. I didn't do anything to it. <laughs> Excuse me. So just picture this truck with the chrome roof, chrome front wall, and chrome pump panel. And there you go. You have a beautiful truck. But, that being said, this is Red Water. This is the Red Water Fire Hall, also known as Station 2. Or Hall 2, sorry. So, yeah. Still using the old same same old uh, building from the Mod Hub in the end game. Which is not bad, which is kind of cool. So, uh, let's just have a quick walk around at the truck here. Got the uh, Cancer logo thing with Jigger. Sport Troop symbol, but pink for breast cancer. You got your 911, which uh, we're just gonna ignore the yellow. Nothing in the back here. 911, you know, of course. And then Unit, unit 1. Surgeon County, Redwater. So let's uh, hop in the truck here and show you what she sounds like. Let's just go this way so you can see the truck here. Sounds like my old truck. If I press N, you have lights. So just pull this out so you can hear the engine. That's a beautiful truck, eh? I like the truck. I like Tottenham. I like Tottenham with those bumpers. And if you press G, you have the deck gun, which you can move around and stuff. So, press key, and if you press keypad 7, 8, and 9, you have sirens. So, keypad 7 is well. Keypad 8 is Yelp. Keypad 9 is high low. No, it's not. Oh. Did I do something wrong? That's interesting. I'm gonna have to figure out what I did there. Because I did play with the XML file, but just to, just to add a, or change a line with the reverse beeper. Because there's a new reverse beeper sound than the standard reverse beeper you hear in my other videos. So, of course, we'll turn on the headlights so you can see those, which are really well done. No turn signals, no, no hazards, just you know, headlights. Oh, and of course, you want to hear this one. So, yeah, awesome truck. I think you did an awesome job, so let's sit back around the hall here. That's a new reverse sound you're going to hear in all these trucks at Redwater. Turn those off. Hop out. Next, we're going to hop in the E1 top mount closed pump engine, or I don't know. Top mount closed pumper. I'm going to say that again. Why not? Of course, you can see it says Sturgeon County and Redwater, but very, very pixely because the skin on this is really tight together, so it's really hard to make it look awesome. In my opinion, it still looks good. Hey, there goes a train. For all you uh, 90s kids, you might know that uh, movie series for kids back in the day called There Goes There Goes a Vehicle or something like that. You know, there was a fire truck, there goes a train, bus, ambulance, I think there is. My favorite was fire truck, because, you know, I'm playing with fire trucks right now. So, uh, this has a different engine sound than this one. So, this is a... Uh, E1 or superior top mount closed. I mean, back in the day here, back in, on this year, it'd be superior. So, let's start her up. Now, keep in mind, I changed all the engine sounds on the Ford and the E1 uh, to be older kind of engine sounds you would find in these trucks. So, the stock sound would be what you would hear in the Freightliner. Or the red truck back there, which we'll get to in a minute. So uh, let's turn our lights on. You got your uh, 
headlights, taillights, hazards, you can see there, hazards, and of course you got your emergency lights. So let's pull this one out a little bit. Of course you got your front scene, your left scene, and your right scene. Or right scene. There's no rear no rear scene lights. Which is fine. But I wonder, did this have No it didn't, okay. Just checking if the deck gun worked, but I guess not. Yeah, I like I like this truck. Of course the siren is a federal federal signal E2 QB. change this, uh, not this, not the power call, but I might, actually I might change this power call to the uh, E2QB, uh, what do I want to call them? Priority. <laughs> and here's the horn. Big ol' mean horn on the old truck. And our worst beeper is going to be the same as the Ford, so let's turn, uh, Sure, we get in there enough space to walk around both ends of the truck to see 60. Which lights off. So, this would be, I think, late 90s, early 2000s for the E1. Of course, I stated this is a 91. And this would be the early 2000s Freightliner M2. I think Caleb said it was 106. I could be wrong, might be a 112. I think I said it's a... Oh, I don't know, I'd have to look again. Uh, I need to look at the hood difference on the M2, 106, and 112. But anyways, here's the new... Uh, New-ish pumper for Redwater. And you got this has the stock engine sound. Which I just talked about. And then you got your uh, emergency lights. Pull out, actually, we'll pull out here, why not? Got your jet slurs light bar, you know, because that's awesome. You got your bumper side, or your low level bumper side light, and your upper side light, so the body there. We'll do a 360 of the truck here. And yes, I know there's grass sticking it in the fire hall. Whatever. Not gonna deal with, too, deal with it too much. And just like the other fire trucks I use, they do have hoses and they hold water, so you know it's a function. It's a functioning fire truck. We'll uh, turn the and this has a federal signal PA three hundred siren. High low. I don't know if there's anything here. Ah, oh, the manual. And of course you got horn. And of course you got your customized reverse sound. Lights off, engine off. Wrong button. Well, when we go from farming sim 19 to farming sim 17, you, you get your buttons mixed up. And then we'll go back to the back part of the hall here, and we'll see this beauty for uh, okay so let's go find our command vehicle that's our CMP there we go here's our command vehicle I totally forgot I was working a working a uh, crash there so let's just uh, let's do it here why not traffic stop anyways so you got your, this is a, I'm going to say 2006, maybe newer, Ford Expedition. Got your headlights, your blinkers. First lights. 
and then you got your shock advisor, and then your red lights. And this has, uh, I think it has a Whelan 295 HS LA6, I think is what it's called. It's a, it's a different sign than the standard sign I, I, the, the modder had on it. And then a horn. And of course, with this light bar, you can have your front, left, and right scene lights on your TAs. I don't want to. So, yeah, let's drive this back to the fire hall, because it used to be there. Uh, yeah, no, because, uh, why not? Make sure no one's coming, turn our lights on for now so we can get across the road here. As you can see, the male fire rescue joined us on the call with their heavy rescue truck. <coughs> this red water doesn't have one. So, and you can see the RCMP Tahoe. Just there, so. Cool, cool there. We'll just uh, make a plinker here. Turn our red lights on. As we're pulling into the fire hole. This is the new expedition. As you can see, this truck, this SUV, and the phone, phone four over here does not have the Sergeant County logo. Only because I had a hard time doing the other ones, which I actually did these these trucks first before I did the white, uh, red on white. So I still think it looks pretty damn good. See so Mercy Services on it. So yeah, let's uh, walk back to phone four. I shall open the garage door first, we can pull her out. And as you can see, it's a Quantum. Pierce Quantum. Now, there are Pierce Quantums in Sturgeon County. Uh, they are run, ran by Mournville Fire Department. And they have two Quantums. They have a Quantum Rescue and a Quantum Tower Truck. Or a Ladder Truck, whatever you want to call it. So. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks good. Let's go here. Turn it on. Now, as you can see, it, it does look brighter than the bed, but, but that's just because we're in the uh, fire hall. So let's just pull it out here. And there you go. Now you can see the red is matched. And we'll pull it up front. Why not? Now, I like this truck a lot, only because it's tandem axle foam tender. Or a tender, in my opinion, pump or tender. So this would be first or first or second due to all the fires, whether it's a car fire or a structure fire, and of course followed by the Ford E1 and a pumper. And if it was a big fire, then you would call for the male fire rescue to back up for backup. So let's turn our lights on here. You do have headlights, but uh, don't not the Coronas. So see that or not. Yeah, you can, you can see this. And then I think you have... Yeah, wait. Yeah. You don't have scene lights. That's, that's okay, though. Then your emergency lights. I like that, uh... Those, uh... Coronas better than the... Ones on the E1, in my opinion. It's the same light bar, actually. So... I like this much better. Now, the siren in this is not the best quality quality because I took it from the Kenworth. Kenworth? Yeah, I think I took it from the Kenworth Tender. So, the siren quality is not that good for the priority, but the whale and the yellow are pretty damn, are pretty good in my opinion. Yup. Of course, I think I got another one too. Yeah. You got your uh, E2. Your E2QB, 
Yo, but Germans put that as a whale. But whatever. And of course, this is a deck gun, but you can't really, really do anything with it. Yeah, no, I can't do anything with it. It's just there for decoration. But yeah, this is a cool truck. It's got actually two foam, uh, two nozzles on it. The one on the, on the bumper, and one on the roof there. Of course, you got your burst lights, brake lights, hazards. I really like this truck. But yeah, that's red. That's this is Redwater Fire Department. So yeah, let me know, guys, what you guys think about the trucks and the fire hall. And if I should change something to be more realistic to to Redwater Fire Department, and or if one need to change a uh, certain tone. I'm saying that now, and I know you guys are probably gonna do that, so I'll only pick the best sirens out there. So, yeah, anyways, let's turn the lights off here, engine off. Hop out. But yeah, this is Redwater Fire Hall, Station 2. Or 1. I'll like say Station 1 because the Ford has the Unit 1 on it, so. We have unit 1, we have unit 1, 1-1, one one, and unit 1-2. And of course, foam 1 and command 1. So, this is Redwater Fire Hall. So with that being said, if you guys liked the video, want to see more, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want me to do more farming sim, fire department roleplay, and or police roleplay, or record role play, I have, I have tow trucks too. And uh, I'll see what I can do. But that's all from me, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe.